going on guys? Chris with RFSC here. Today I want to show you the barbell glute bridge or the hip thrust, whichever you want to call it. And this is going to be one of the best exercises you can do to isolate the glutes. I mean, you're going to get some hamstring work as well, but typically if you're doing it correctly, you're going to activate the glutes and they're going to be on fire. All right. So I'm going to show you two different variations with the barbell. First is going to be strictly on the ground. I like to take an Airx pad and put it across the hips. Let me just roll that barbell back. We'll lean back. We're gonna have our heels about maybe a foot away from our butt. Head on the ground, holding the barbell so it didn't roll up, hit you in the face. If you need to, you can go toes up, so you're driving through the heels. You're gonna go up, have a straight line from the knee down to the shoulders, down nice and slow. I like to have all my clients explode up, and then lower, slow, and under control. Explode up lower, slow, and under control. You can go feet flat, but what I tend to see is that clients go up and they end up putting the weight on the balls of their feet. And I like to see the weight in the heels, that way we can activate the glutes a little bit better rather than the hamstrings and put pressure on that uh, front of the knee, the anterior knee. So there's that. Now we're gonna go shoulders elevated glute bridge. So I'm gonna scoot back here. Now, same thing with the barbell. Roll it up there. An easy way to make sure that this is easy to do and you're not wobbling around and gonna hurt yourself is that you can put bumper plates under here so it's easier to get up. This is fairly lightweight, so I don't really need to use them right now. But so shoulders up, down nice and slow, explode up. Explode up. So the thing you wanna make sure you do here is that the hips are traveling back towards the bench rather than trying to go straight down because that's when you're going to feel it in the low back. So if we travel more a diagonal path or it feels like a diagonal path coming back towards the bench and explode up, that's where you're going to get that mean glute, glute activation. So if you have any questions on this, leave me a comment or shoot me an email. Um, otherwise, kill the glutes. Everybody likes a big booty. Have a good day.